Now we are going to see how we can disable a button once it is clicked. In some cases you might be allowing the user to click the button only once. For example, suppose we have a paragraph and three buttons bold, italic and underline. When the user clicks the bold button, say the content becomes bold. And what will happen if the user again and again clicks the button? Nothing is going to happen, right? So in that case, what we can do is we can disable the button once it is clicked. That is, once it is clicked, we will make the content bold and also disable the button so that the user will come to know that there is no use even if he clicks the button again. So we are going to see how we can disable a button once it is clicked. For this, I have created a paragraph and added some dummy content. I have also added three buttons, bold, italic and underline and given the class name button. So first, let us try to style this paragraph based on the button clicked. So in this lecture, we are actually doing two things. One is disabling the button once it is clicked and also changing the style based on the clicked button. So I have added the dollar document dot ready event. Next, what we need to do, we should write the code on the click of the button. So we can add the code on dot button click. So dollar, I am using class selector dot button dot click. I need to write the function. And we have to write our code here. And what we need to do, we need to get the text of the button so that we can decide which button is clicked. So let me write a variable where to do because we need to do something based on that text. You can name it the way you want. Then dollar, I want to get the text of the clicked button. So which selector I can use? I can use the this selector so that it will select the currently clicked button dot text. This will return the text of the clicked button. Then what should I do? If to do equal equals bold, then I should do something. That is, I should make the content bold. Then else if to do equal equals italic, then also I have to do something and in the else part also I need to do something, right? So let's write the code now. If to do equals bold, what we need to do? We need to make this paragraph bold. So I can also cache the paragraph that is better for performance. So where para equals dollar p. So this is the paragraph. Now what I need to do, I need to apply some style para.css and I need to change the font weight to bold. So I can write .css font weight is bold. Next is the italic case. So let me copy this and paste it here as well as here. And in case of italic, it should be font style and the value should be italic. Okay, and the last one is underline, right? This is the last else. So in this case, it should be text decoration. So text decoration should be underline. Okay, now let's check whether it is working. Refresh. Let me click the bold button. See, the content became bold. Now again, if I click the bold button, nothing is going to happen. So we are going to disable this button. We will do it next. And let me click the italic. See, the content became italic. If I click the underline, it became underlined. Okay. So next what we need to do, we need to disable the button once it is clicked. How we can do that? After this else, what I can write is, I need to disable the currently clicked button. Right. I should not write it like dot button, whatever it is. It should be for the currently clicked button only so I should write dollar this how I can disable a button I can use the prop method and its disabled property should be true so true what will happen now after doing this that is whether it is bold italic or underline 
the currently clicked button's disabled property will become true means it will be disabled so let's check that refresh let me click the bold button see this button became disabled you cannot click on this button now and suppose i click underline see the content became underlined and the button is disabled similar is the case for italic so once the button is clicked that particular button that is the currently clicked button becomes disabled so we have done it using dollar this dot prop dollar this is to make sure that we are disabling the currently clicked button only and this prop is used to set the value to this property disabled and this part is actually styling the content based on the button clicked if the button is bold we change the font weight property to bold if the button clicked is italic we set the font style property to italic and if the button clicked is underlined because here if else if and else means that is the only condition remaining in that case we are setting the text decoration to underline so in this lecture we have seen two different things we have styled the content based on the button clicked and we have also disabled the button once it is clicked because there is no use even if the user clicks the button again and again once it became bold means it is bold nothing is going to happen even if the user again clicks the button so in such scenarios where there is no use even if the button is clicked again and again or even in the case of submit button we can disable the submit button because once the form is submitted the user should not click the submit button again so in such cases you can disable the button like this making the disabled property true so here we have used the prop method for that purpose